Hello, I am Petro from Gulian Technology. Recently I passed the CCNA exam, the Cisco Certified Network Associate exam from Cisco. And today I would like to share the steps that I took in order to prepare for this exam and the resources that I used. I hope you'll find these resources useful for you. So make sure to watch to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website gulian.uk. The last time when I took a Cisco exam was in 2014. I passed the Cisco certified, uh, not this one, let me check. Cisco Certified Network Associate Security Exam. It was in 2014, as I, as I mentioned, it uh, passed a lot of time. Uh, I didn't continue to study uh, for Cisco certifications because I worked in a different domain. I worked with Juniper Gear and I didn't uh, have time to work on both Cisco and Juniper uh, certifications. So I stopped. Learning for Cisco, I continued to learn for Juniper. Now I'm working in a different domain. I, I, I'm using different skills. However, as you can see recently, I passed the CCNA exam on uh, March 18, 2023. And today I would like to share you the steps that I took in order to prepare for this exam, because it's very hard exam from my point of view which also contains which contains uh, theory and also contains practice questions where you need to enter uh, to configure different tasks with the real with in a simulation with the uh, real commands uh, i uh, wrote a post about how to prepare for CCNA exam you can visit my website and read it if you prefer to read this video will be based on this uh, post. I would like to share with you the steps that I took and the resources that I used in order to prepare and pass the CCNA exam. Uh, the exam, uh, the Cisco CCNA exam is considered an entry level certification. From my point of view, it is not an entry level because you need to cover, you need to have a lot of knowledge from a lot of different uh, topics, a lot of different domains, which are related to networking, but not only to networking. There are right now two other certifications which are considered entry level. Uh, I don't remember their names because they are pretty new and there isn't any training, at least from the sources that I know on the market so you can uh, study with for ccna to go with the ccna exam it is a hard exam as i mentioned but it is you can pass if you you can pass it if you spend time to prepare for it if you allocate time to 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 do labs uh, it is a very it is a, a very achievable goal why you want to, to, uh, to, to follow the CCNA certification or because it is a very well-known certification uh, and a lot of companies, if you check the job descriptions for a lot of companies, you will see that uh, the CCNA certification is mentioned there. So the people from HR will see you, will find you and you will invite you to an interview. Uh, and I used for this exam, this exam, uh, you can go to this website where you can find the blueprint for the exam. As you can see, it covers the following topics. The network fundamentals, which has 20%, the 20% of questions will be from this topic. Network access, IP connectivity, IP services, security fundamentals, automation and programmability. Each topic has a lot of subtopics, as you can see here. So I strongly recommend to go to this page and check all the topics that you need to cover in order to prepare for the exam. When you are ready for the exam and you want to schedule the exam, 
you can go to the person view website and check how much the exam costs uh, it costs 300 dollars plus tax depending on the exam that you want to take as you can see different cisco exams have different prices this one is considered an associate level exam and it costs 300 dollars plus tax uh, you can schedule an exam from the website person view website you can take the exam uh, at the person view test or you can take it online from the comfort of your uh, home i was you i i uh, i took the exam from a person view test because i heard some rumors uh, recently about the exam tutors uh, finishing the exams for the guys who 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 were on the exam and who uh, took the exam from the, their home because they moved too much or because they looked some way this is why i i used a person view test i didn't want to 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 think about what i'm doing when i think about the questions and when i doing labs it it's more more stressful in my opinion to take the exam from home but you can take it if you want uh, i used the following resources as you can see i used books i used video and i used labs i prefer to read and i also prefer to watch to complement my training uh, i used the official set guide volume one and two for this exam which is written by wendell odom i have them here as you can see i think these books are very good books uh with where they provide a lot of details there are uh, topics in these books which are not included in the exam blueprint however it will help you to understand better some more some complex topics and i strongly recommend to buy or to to find these books in libraries to, to to read them if you want to prepare for this exam it will help you a lot and it will give you some some it will help you to understand as i mentioned some complex topics which in videos may not be uh, presented or explained what else i have used i used the complete ccna masterclass by kevin wallace Unfortunately, this masterclass is, is not available anymore on Udemy and you cannot enroll for it. However, I would suggest you to visit the Kevin Ola's website. Uh, recently, he announced that he is offering a subscription, a paid subscription. If you buy this subscription, you will have access to all his trainings and he has a lot of training uh, related to the Cisco to networking and not only so if you want visit uh, his uh, website if i'm not mistaken his website is kwtrain.com and there you'll find this course and or and other courses of course i used also this ccna 200-301 crash course uh, which is uh, available available on o'reilly uh, in order to participate in this uh, crash course you need to have an active O'Reilly subscription the, the crash course is presented by Owen, Wendell Odom the same person who wrote the books that I presented earlier so you can use this resource before going to the exam to see if you are well prepared if you know uh, all the topics what else I have used as I mentioned I used books, I, I used videos, I used also labs. You need to do a lot of labs in order to prepare for this exam because this exam contains not only theory but also contains tasks where you need to configure different things. For this you need to do labs. You can buy this product from Cisco, Cisco Learning Labs. I bought it and I used it. Uh, I also used real gear as you can see here a lot to practice for this uh, CCNA exam for the Cisco exam. The 
Cisco product which offers you labs has a lot of uh, labs it's providing a lot of labs as you can see you can do them multiple times even if you don't know a subject you can do the lab because you'll have step-by-step -step instructions on what to do how to do so in my opinion it's a very good product and it will help you to prepare for uh, the Cisco CCNA exam if you don't have uh, buy uh, enough money or if you don't want to spend too much uh, money uh, in order to prepare for the CCNA exam you can visit Wendell Odom's blog he is uh, suggesting offering a lot of labs which you can do in packet tracer or on real gear as you can see there are a lot of labs here I did a couple of them you can find them on my website or you can find them here uh, as I mentioned these uh, labs are free and you can do them in packet tracer uh, you can find packet tracer on Cisco networking Academy you can download it from there and after you download from there you you, you can you'll download the packet tracer files from here and just import them in, in the packet tracer and you can do the labs and it will help you to grasp the practice, the theory, and not only the theory, but also the practice. Uh, before going to the exam, I uh, used uh, the following product, which is an uh, exam review product, also from Cisco. It contains a pool uh, with questions similar to the questions that you will receive to the exam they are not the same questions but at least you can uh, use them and you can have an idea of how the questions are structured which type of question you can receive to the exam uh, i use this product as you can see here I, uh, as i mentioned you have a pool with questions every time you take an assessment uh, you'll receive a score based on the number of questions that you have uh, answered correctly also you can check after you take the exam which concepts you need to work on or need to uh, continue to learn if you for example uh, you can see that i didn't answer to these questions now i know that i need to allocate some more time on qs i will go back I'll open the books or I'll go back to the video training and I'll watch this uh, topic one more time or I'll read this topic one more time to give me uh, to be uh, to know the subject and to be confident uh, about uh, to know the subject actually if you are afraid of taking the exam Cisco is offering a safeguard uh, unfortunately or fortunately you need it is still available on the market you this offer ends on april 25 2023 so in a couple of days the idea is that uh, you can buy this safeguard and if you fail the exam you have a second chance to take the exam without spending any money so if you are not very confident or if you are afraid of the exams you can buy this product you can go to the exam and you can work or you can take the exam and even if you fail you will know that you have a second chance to pass the exam without spending 300 dollars more this is all that i wanted to share with you i hope that you will find these resources useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website where you can find all the uh, links that I, uh, I suggested you to use. Thank you for watching and goodbye.